And welcome back to uh, learning how to drill for oil. This is part two. And so I had a little disaster last time. I had a crash. It was probably me running something in the background that caused it. And so I didn't get to save my oil derrick, but that's fine. Um, a lot of people were asking for me to kind of walk them through some of this. So I think this will be helpful to at least get you to where we were. And some of the designs were not working great. And so this way I can kind of refine some of my designs. So I'm going to put that table as low as possible. And I'm going to grab it. So I dragged from the block that starts. The block that starts is in the cent center right above the wellhead. So if you drag a line of block down from that, you know you can align. And everything will be aligned perfectly. And then you can cut all that out. All right, so that is now in. And what I'm going to do to start with here is I'm just going to... I just well, I can do it. I just want to make kind of a platform. You know, some people have had some better, I think, um, looking designs, more realistic designs. But again, this is just learning it. You know, once I kind of get the systems to where I want them, I can des decide if I want to make it look prettier, or look better. Um, right now, what I care about is functionality. I want to. I want to learn all the components here. I want to make sure I get everything up and running. So. Uh, presently, like I do with a lot of my builds, is I start by I start by doing infinite electricity, and so something like how I'm powering this table. I'm going to do it with a motor, just a large motor. That will give me the highest speed. That will give me the highest um, drill rotation or table rotation. So that will be good for that. So that's right there, and that way. You know, that would just give me the, the fastest speed. It will give me the quickest drilling. Again, the point here is to hit oil, learn how to fraction into the different components, learn every part of oil, and hopefully um, help people out with getting to it. It's a little bit complicated for a, for a bunch of people, and so that would be helpful. All right, next thing I want to do here is I'm gonna, I want to work on my swivel. The swivel seems to be one of my most important parts. So I'm going to do a track. I like these tracks, these larger tracks, these linear track bases, because they are these these linear track bases here. They're just easy push button up downs. And so one thing I want to do is I'm just going to stack a couple of these for a second here, and then delete them out. I'm just trying to get the swivel aligned. So it's very important to get your parts to align with oil. And so that's one of the things I want to start with. So I think it's let me see like that maybe. Let's grab a swivel. So just type in oil and you get your swivel. Swivel is what actually pumps the slurry into the hole. And as you can see, that lines up. So we know that alignment is correct. So that is good. So now what I can do is go back to track. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible too. Once this is done, I will put this in the workshop and you guys can uh, use it however you like. And so I'm just going to build way up there. Um, I found that the more space I have vertically, the better for stacking things that I need. All right, so that's my swivel. And what I'm going to do is actually delete that out, put a piece of track in there, and I'm going to put the linear on the top. So we're going to go back to track, and I want linear track base. And we're going to go up here. All right. And so, uh, you know, as I was learning last time, I actually used, it was a Frankenstein piece that I had the last episode from when we did the Workbench podcast. And so a lot of it was me just trying to figure things out. So this is going to be pasted there. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to change this just a hair. That's fine. All right, so this is where I want it. So that is pasted, clear that. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is grab all of this. So I'm going to grab this here, and I'm going to cut that. And I'll go like this, and I'm going to press the U key. And so I want this pipe connection here. All right. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is go like that. Yep, that's where I want it. Okay, good, perfect. And I'm going to connect the pipe. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab this, copy this. Another reason I wanted to, that it's actually beneficial to start over is some of the design elements weren't great. This is better. All right, so now I'm going to paste both of these. Now, this allows me to put uh, fluid through. So as you can see, if we look at the back side here, we have piping, and that allows us to put our fluid through. Now, the height is going to be an issue potentially with pumping, but we'll see. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy off a piece of track segment, and I'm going to do dual tracks. I did this last time, and it worked out well for me. 
And I'm actually going to leave the center track section, I think. All right, and so those two tracks are now in there. Let's go ahead and we'll merge these up to all that. All right, so that is all merged up. Now we're going to have three of these uh, going, which is good. And the center one will be, doesn't need to be that tall. The center one will be our pipe joiner. Or pipe connector. I forget the exact terminology. And so this should be able to, I want to make sure that, I don't know if the swivel can go by it or not, but it doesn't need to. So that will go like that. And then I need my, I'll just type in oil. Type in oil, you get most of the parts. Here's my connector here. And so again, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am aligned. And so that needs to be one block off. Okay, so one block off. So that needs to sit probably below that like so. And then I'm just going to decorate it a little bit like that. And that's going to be my pipe joiner. And so that will slide all the way down, and then we will be able to drill down past it like so. All right, good. So that's aligned. And just for a little bit of... Um, we'll do that as well, make that look a little bit better. All right, so this is my swivel. That's what pumps the slurry through. Slurry, you cannot drill without slurry. This connects my pipe segments. All right, uh, next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to work on a method to get pipe sections uh, up in up into here. Before I had a, a complicated crane that was not my favorite and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So I'm trying to think of much simpler ways to do this. So let's, uh, I'm going to brainstorm just a little. All right, so I did a little brainstorm. I would like, you know, I talk about how if you over automate stuff, you kind of get bored because there's not much for you to do. And so I want to make it so that it's not overly automated. I want to have to do a bunch of stuff myself. So I do want a crane. I just don't want it as complex, as complicated as last time. Uh, last time the crane was very much hands-on for me. Um, seeing I'm going to be doing a bunch of this myself, I do want to automate some of it. So I'm going to stick it right there. I think is good. Let's. I'll drop it down one. All right. So this is going to be the base of the crane, and the crane is going to be much simpler now. So that goes like that. Okay. Good. And then I'm just going to do a, I like to use rocket pieces just because I like the circles. If they put in some pipe sections, I do that. All right, so where do I want to put this? I'm just, I'm just trying to spatially think about how this has to go to be able to adhere the pipe sections together. So it needs to be pretty tall. So right about there is probably good. All right, and so I'm going to have this face uh, to this, to the right side here. And I'm going to counterbalance this a little bit. So we will actually get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to delete there. I like using these these rockets. They're expensive, so you know you don't want to use them if, if it's going to be overly expensive for you. But uh, let's see. So I need to count how many spaces to here, essentially. That is going to be, what, nine? Nine spots there. All right, and so what I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to actually take, go back to oil. I'm going to grab this uh, oil rig drill clamp. I could over, I could simplify this even more, but I'm going to do this here. And so, okay, that's about there. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, seeing what I want here. But another thought is I could even use this joiner, but I'm going to probably keep that joiner together. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep that. I do have a thought with this here. Let's try something. Let's try something. Let's simplify this even more. Uh, I think simplifying it's going to be nice and, and uh, help me. You know, and it's also going to help me teach, you know, other people how to do it. You know, there are some people who very much enjoy learning this on their own. There are some people who just would like uh, somebody to tell them how to do it. So I'm going to uh, offer that service of telling people how to do it if they so desire. So I'm just going to put a couple blocks here, and then I'm going to grab this joiner. And so on the bottom here, you have the connector part. And then you have these rollers. The rollers are where they actually join. And so I want to go one more block right there. So you want to make sure, if, like, you look over the top here, you see all these, these holes will align. You want to make sure your holes align. 
All right, so that's good there. Let's cut this out. All right, nice. And so I need to find where I want to put this. Okay, nice. So this should this can actually be pretty low now because I've I've redone my design. So I'm trying to streamline things. I shouldn't have moved that. All right, so that's right where it belongs. Let's. I need to take a measurement here, so I'm just going to go up a couple here and then measure in. And so that is going to be nine from there. Nope, is that eight? Let me check it. That's nine. Okay, good. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's go here. We'll do rockets. Just I like the look of it. All right, and then what I want to do is that's actually not that's not a bad height right there. All right, and then I want to join it, so I'm just going to take rockets, go right there actually, and I'm going to do a counterweight. You would often have a counterweight, and that just makes it's you know it's it's kind of it's mostly RP at this point, but it also will make it function a little bit better if it has a counterweight. The weight of this, um, and then you would want to have a heavier weight over here, and that would balance it essentially. All right, and so what this is going to do is this is going to rotate, and we actually need to move this 90 degrees, so that's fine. What I'm going to do is, is just cut all this. All right, and then rejoin it. And so this is going to start in this position. That's just going to make it easier to grab. All right, and merge this to here. Okay. And I'm going to delete out here. And I'm going to get some pistons, I think. Make some pneumatic pistons, maybe. I don't know if I like that. Let's go here. Let's do this instead. I don't want to overcomplicate this again, but I do want it to be the way I want it. So let's go ahead and... Trying to work with the crane system. Last time the crane was a little bit of a pain point. It it took a little bit more time to do things than I would have liked. So trying to just think ahead of how I have to set this up. So definitely trying to streamline how this goes here. All right, and so that's going to be max extension right there. And then we want track. Actually, I don't want it exactly like this, but I will figure it in a second here. All right, let me undo that. Okay, so I know where I need to be. So let's first of all, let's just mark it, and then I'll I'll do it this way here. Okay, that's like that, and then this is going to go... So I need a track section here. I'm trying to think of the best way to set up the pipes. I think I'm going to use a cassette system. And so let's see. Let's make it. Uh, it will go in four, like so. One, two, three, four, like so. Okay. And then this one will cut. We'll grab another track section here. So I think this is just going to be a lot simpler. Uh, the distances will be static. Before, like, I had to keep moving move in and check in. Is that good? Is that bad? Okay. And then, like, nope, I have to move again. And so this will be more consistent, I think. And I won't have to move as much. All right, good. And so this is just going to be... All right, and so this will be like this. So this part will extend out. This will rotate. That's pretty good. It's not super elegant. It doesn't need to be super elegant. 
All right, and then let's see where we're at here. So we would want to put the cassette. So that is how many blocks from there. That is going to be seven. Okay, seven. And then we want to add four. So 11. All right, 11 right there. All right, good. All right, and then so that is needs to be pipe here. So I'm just going to put a uh, pipe here for now. Actually, you know what I'll do? Let's do a let's grab a let's grab a pivot. So I was thinking, you know, kind of brainstorming about this a bunch. I want a velocity pivot here. Oh, uh, my J's got turned on. Okay, so I want a velocity pivot here. And so I, you know, I've been doing a bunch of brainstorming of the best way to do this. And so let's see, it's going to go to there. That needs to stick off that much. So it actually needs to go in one. There'll be a lot of talking to myself. Nope, that was correct. So that will hang there. That needs to go, part will go there. I'm just trying to space, space this out. Um, once I get this set up, I can change it. So here's a hard point connector. So I'll put a hard point connector like so. And then I want another hard point connector like so. And so I'm trying to think of the best way to transport these rods, load these rods, and then be able to feed these rods to the system here. So I like the rotary cassettes that... Um, could do rotary cassettes. I could do it a different way as well. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I think a rotary cassette is uh, elegant. I kind of like an elegant solution. So that's going to go like that. All right, and then I'm just going to put a block up here. Turn on symmetry. Now I want to go back to oil. And I want to grab some rods. And uh, let me build a center piece like so okay good and some rod storage and so right there and so each of these cassettes will hold four rods and they rotate all right like so and then these cassettes can be loaded onto trucks. And then the height is going to be a problem. This is too high at the moment. So this needs to come up, which is fine. I can do that. All right, we'll cut this. Now I want to make this is right about About there is probably good. Yep, okay. And this is probably confusing everybody, but you'll see when I get moving um, what I intend to do with this. All right, good. So that's cassette. That is going to be my slurry. I think we're in pretty good shape here. So let us let me quickly show you um, what the plan is here for this. So let's start banging together some microcontrollers. I'm going to try to make this a little bit more... The control scheme a little bit better here so let's start with this this is going to be the uh, pipe connector controller okay and so i'm just going to make this a certain size and get going here so i want a composite input panel and then i want to go i need a number output rotation and I need output, and uh, that's arm out, arm out. That's going to be uh, output, arm in, in. This is going to be a number output slider. All right. So we have uh, rotation, arm out in, slider. Okay, I need to do clamp, clamp, 
And then I need one more space here, at least for connect. Connect pipes, okay. All right, good, so I'm just gonna update that really quick and then I need to make a panel for this. So I'm just gonna go get rid of symmetry really quick. And then I don't know where my panel is gonna eventually sit, but right now it's gonna sit here. I will work on these. This is just gonna try to have a more finalized product, and then you know I'll be able to put this in my career build series when I end up using it. But um, so we're just working on this section here. So I want let's do rotate left arrow button to the left. That will be a push one. Okay, this will be rotate right. That'll be a uh, arrow button to the right. Push as well. That'll be arm out. Now, later down the road, if I want to, I can automate it. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. Arm in. Okay, and so arm out is going to be an arrow button up. Push. This is going to be an arm in is going to be an arrow button down. Push. All right, so that's going to control that. And then what I need to do is I need a clamp. Where is my push button? button. That's going to be a toggle. That's going to be five. And that will be clamped indicator. There's indicator indicator. And then this, uh, that's going to be, that can be one, but we'll, we'll keep the naming convention up six. This will be connect pipes, pipes, that's going to be a button toggle. Did, was this one toggle too? Clamp toggle, yep. Uh, that's going to be seven. And this one here will be an indicator for pipes aligned. And that will be eight. So just keep the naming convention, make it easier. And then I just want to go in here and we have, if they're clamped, and if they're aligned. And then these I tend to do like an orange or yellow. Okay, good. So that is set up. So let's go ahead to composite. We'll go there. We'll go here to my panel. That's good. Then we'll go connect pipes. So we have connect, disconnect, clamp. Uh, that's rod clamped if it is clamped. Okay, so this should this is wrong here. Let me see. I need to add nodes, anyways. Uh, on off output clamp. Okay. Just update this for now. I'm just gonna do my connections here. That is arm in. Up should be down. Arm out is there. We have rotation here. We have slider is going to be here. Uh, clamp is going to go there. That actually clamps the rod itself. What is that? That is slider position. That's fine. We don't need that. Okay. And so now we need to control this cassette over here. And so this is going to be... I think um, the best way to do this. Um... Uh, Left. So this will be an arrow button to the left. That will be a push. That will be nine. And then this will be cassette right. That will be a push button. That will be, I'm screwing this up. That's left. This will be an arrow button to the right. Push button, that'll be 10. 
All right, and that's good for now. And then I'm going to go like so. Okay, and so I need to make this bigger anyway. All right, and so we want to add in composite output panels, and then number set rotation. All right, and that's good for now. All right, so let's go in here and start building this here. So these can all go over here, move them away from the spawn area so I don't have to have them in the way. All right, connect pipes, clamp, slider, arm in, arm out, rotation, panel. Okay, so let's start going through here. I need to start reading a bunch of on off. So one is going to be arm left. Uh, two is going to be arm right. All right, those are pushes. So up down counter. So let's see, point, point zero one. Let's do enable the clamp. Uh, negative one one. Okay, so that's going to be this way, this way until we figure out any different rotation right here. Okay, that's there. This is going to be two, and that's done. Okay, good. Next thing we want to do is we want... All right, so one, two is that. Then in, out on the arm are going to be three and four. So I hope people find this interesting. A bunch of people had asked me to actually do the actually do the um, building so they could see how I was doing this. And so it was actually a little bit fortuitous that I lost what I had worked on because uh, it wasn't perfect. I was going to do a bunch of changes anyway, so it wasn't bad to do this. All right, so that is good. So those are the arms. That's the first panel done. The next one is going to be clamp. So clamp is five. Five is clamp. All right, and then the next one is connect pipe, that's seven. Seven right there. All right, and then we need, what was it, um, nine and 10? Yeah, it'd be nine and 10. So 9 and 10 are for cassette rotation. Yeah, let's see what I want to do here. Numerical switch box, I think. All right, and so we'll just go like that for now. Point two, and I probably will have to flip some of these around, but all right, not the prettiest. I don't need it to be the prettiest right now. I just need it to function because I want to get moving here. Slider is going to be. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do a panel for slider. Um, let's update that. So slider will be right here. That's going to be, make sure, 9, 10, yep, this is 11. And this is going to be slider up. Slider up. Arrow button up. Push, 11. Slider down. Arrow button down. Push, 12. Okay, good. And we'll go back in here. All right, and so let's grab another up-down counter. Uh, no, uh, let's not do an up-down counter. Let's do this here. 
Okay, good. All right, and so we have 11, 12, 11, and 12. All right, and so hopefully this will do a this will be a easier feed system than having to do a complex crane. I should be able to do something a lot simpler here. All right, now we need to do our, our readouts. So we have clamp. And I need another node already. I don't think I need that many more spaces. So this is going to be um, pipes lined. All right, so if the pipes aligned or the, the panels, so what do we have? We're talking, um, I have to look really quick just to double check before I screw it up. Six is clamped, eight is aligned. Okay, six and eight. So let's uh, write a number. Nope, let's write on off rather. So I'll start at six, three channels. Six and eight. Okay, so that should work there. All right, let's let's make sure all the connections are made here where we need them. That is going to be cassette rotation. I'm going to put cassette disconnection on the other one. That should be set. All right, so let's uh. I'm just checking the distance. Let's quickly check this and make sure this is working. Make sure infinite electricity is on. That's how we're going to run things. Okay, so we have our cassette here. Our cassette will hold uh, four of the drill rods. So, all right, I hear things working. All right, so this rotates. That's just backwards. Interesting. Something's up with this. That's not far enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Something's up. I have to play with this and see what is up. Okay. I screwed up the numbering. That's eh, just a me problem. Screwing up numbering here. Okay. Good. So let's uh, fix it. Right, I screwed up something in the numbering here. Uh, oh, I, I duplicated a bunch of numbers. I didn't fix them all. So let's see. Uh, we have five. That's channel sevens. Connect pipes there. Okay, so I need to go through them. One and two are rotation. Three and four are arm in and out. That is correct. Five is clamp. Um, six will be... Six is reading out. Seven is connect pipes. Eight is reading out. Nine is going to be cassette rotation. 10 is cassette rotation. 10 is cassette rotation. 11 and 12. Let's try this. Um, and I think the arms are backwards here. So I just need to, I figured that I would screw that up. So let's go just like that. And that should fix that. Probably just going to have to fix a bunch of numbers. But we're, we're moving here, I think. Okay, so let's try moving the cassette left. Too fast, but right. In fact, point one was probably good. So you see the cassette's gonna line up, and then I want to rotate. Okay, that's rotating correctly there. Why it doesn't rotate back? I have to check. Arm out. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need to make sure my alignment is good here. So we are probably short one block. So we're short one block. That's something easy I can fix. So something's up with this rotation. I can't rotate it. Okay, these are these are wrong numbers. So All right, so I bet I've screwed it up on the panel itself. So let's check the panel. All right, so that's 1 2 Three, 
one. Okay, that should be four. Okay, that will do it. That should be five, six, seven, eight. So often if you screw up one number, you have to go back. So it's best just to go back. 11, 12. Okay, let's try it and see if we're in business here. All right. That's rotating the correct direction. Let's go out. All right. And so this definitely needs to be, the arm needs to go one closer. All right, so I need to do that. And then how many spaces closer on this side? So it needs to go one, two, three closer on this side. Okay. So one on the right side so, and then two on the other side. Okay. All right, and then this needs to move in this whole cassette here. Yeah, the cassette should move in two, I believe. So we'll test it. Sometimes it's quicker just to go do it than to uh, do a ton of testing. And then I want to go in here and point well, the cassette rotations too fast for me. One, and where's the other one? One, okay. All right, so let's see if we can grab a pipe and insert it where it's supposed to be. All right, so we wanna go left. All right, we wanna extend. All right, so now you see it's, it's holding a pipe. Now we want to clamp it. We wanna go in. And back out. And there we go. And then we want to go slider down. So let's rotate this a little bit. Found Okay, so we found that you can't be exactly on there. And so that's fine. What we can do now is we can incorporate the, um, what it, the whatever you call it there, the, um, the pivot. And so that's uh, that's gonna work. Okay, good. So let me try something here. All right, so that is there. Um, so that's working now. We're able to grab off the cassette. Let me move the cassette again. Yeah, so that's better. The oh. Okay, so it doesn't like it with that hard point there. We'll test that system later of uh, having it attach. I'll just get rid of that for now. Well, we're going to need some sort of attachment system um, to be able to move these. So as of right now, um, I'm not going to worry about it, but... Um, I'm going to try to do some sort of connector to connect the cassettes, and I want to get rid of this too. This is hitting this. All right, so that is working. That's working fine. Next I need to do is work on the, the rest of the control system here. All right, and so let's um, put a little break in there, and then I'll start working with new panels. All right, so this is going to be swivel up, be an arrow button up, push one, uh, two is going to be, let's go swivel clamp. Okay, that's going to be a button. Toggle two. This is going to be swivel down. Swivel down. I'll be an arrow button down. That's going to be. I want these toggles. Um, these should be toggles. 
toggles. Okay, and that should be a toggle as well. Toggle, that's three. This is going to be swivel or pipe clamped. Clamp, that's going to be an indicator. And it will be... Uh, what do we talk? Four? Four. Okay. That's good. And then... So that's good. That will control that. I want... I think I want just a push button for the table. So this is going to be... Slurry... Um, flow rate. That's going to be a dial. That will be, stay like that for now. That's going to be with the five. This will be slurry, slurry container. That's going to be a gauge vertical um, six. It's going to be table um, on. That's going to be a button toggle. It's at seven. Table RPS. We have dial eight. Table. Clamp, that's going to be 11, button toggle 11. All right, that's just going to be none, none for now until I figure out what I want to do with them. That way it just gets rid of them for now. All right, so let's go ahead and connect these up. Make another quick microcontroller. All right. All right, so let's see where we're at here. So the arm in and out will now be on this one. Let me make sure I grabbed the right panel. I did, okay, because that would be annoying. Um, arm in and out are going to be swivel up, swivel down. Okay, and that's going to be, let's do that right now. Swivel up is going to be one. Swivel down is three. All right. Um, what, was, what did I put next to that? I can't remember what I put next to that. I think it was swivel clamp. Swivel clamp. Okay. And clamp right here is going to be two. All right. And then we have, let me just name it swivel clamp. Swivel clamp. Okay, good. Up, oh, that's the wrong one. I need to name the other clamp. Swivel clamp. Okay, and then I had another clamp here somewhere. Swivel up, down, swivel clamp, connect pipes. All right, so I'm just quickly. Looking at this here, my middle mouse button's not working. All right, let's see. Uh, get rid of this for now. All right, so swivel up and down are are there. Swivel clamp is going to be right there. And then I need. I'm looking for the last swivel where I had it. Oh, I know what it is. Um, one of them is the connection is um, the other swivel. So here's swivel clamped. There we go. Okay, that's good. And then this is uh, connect pipes is going to be 
table clamp. Alright, rotation is going to be, let's just get rid of all this and start fresh on that, it'll be easier. Alright, so swivel clamp, uh, table clamp I'll figure in a second here. Alright, so we have um, swivel up and down, clamp swivel. This here is going to be 7 is table on. Okay, so 7 is table on. And numerical switch box. I'm just going to make this really easy for now. It's just going to be an on off for this. So we'll set it to a 1. So the motor will go max max speed. We'll change that later. All right, that's good. So seven is that. And then I want 11 is table clamp. Okay. All right, 11 is table clamp. And then the other ones I can fill out later. All right, that's good. All right, let's start hooking these up. That'll be, don't need that, that's swivel clamp. That's the swivel clamp. That's going to be swivel up. So these are going to be ups on both of these. Up. Up. It's going to be swivel down. It's going to be down, down. Okay. Uh, swivel clamped. I don't think it has a readout on that one. Table clamp. Rotation is going to be going, rotation goes to here. Okay, good. So that's set up. This should work as well. Let's uh, try it. All right, so swivel. So it, it's on a toggle, and that's so that you can, here we go, keep it pushing down. All right, good. So now, see, we've grabbed a pipe. Go up with the swivel. Table on, as you can see. Nice. All right, good. So let's connect a rod here. So let's go ahead and that's a big part of it. So let's go. Uh, we want to go rotate left. Uh, we want to do clamp. We go in and back out. All right, and so this could this could cause me. Okay, so I'm not ready to do this yet. So I'll show you what I have to do here. So this is now going to go back, arm in, and we'll rotate this just here is fine. Let's go ahead and go down on the swivel. You'll hear it make a cl clamp noise. Okay, so you just heard the clamp noise. So we will clamp the table, turn the table on, and we're drilling. So we don't have any slurry going in there, so it's not going to go. But we would wait till we get to down low, and then we could attach the next one. Okay, good. So we need to start doing slurry, or we're not moving anywhere yet. All right, good. So we're, we're making some progress here. So I'm going to make a really tall, thin slurry tank. All right, so here's my slurry tank. Let's go... Uh, I, I like doing odd numbers, so. That's five there, two. We'll do a, uh, what did I do, a one gap there? I meant to do a two gap. So we'll do a two gap, one, two, three, four, five. Two gap. Uh, one, two, like that. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last set here. We'll do a two gap, five. Okay, good. All right, well, how do I screw that up? This one's right, I think. This one I just wasn't looking correctly when I did it. All right, that one's good, and then this one needs to come in one, one section there. All right, so this is going to be my slurry tank.
Yeah, let's make a nice tall, thin tank. This will keep the pumping to a minimum that I have to do. Let's copy that. I don't know if that saved me any time or not, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's a nice, thin, tall slurry tank. It's just going to make it easier for me to get the liquid all the way up to the top there. All right, so there is my slurry tank. Let's finish it off. All right, so you cannot drill without slurry. So without pumping that slurry, that's why that drill bit wouldn't go in at all. All right, so there's our, our slurry tank, and then I need to feed a uh, pipe in here. So let's cut it right here. Fluid. Okay. Do a couple pumps here. And I'm just gonna do double pumps just to verify just to make sure that I get a good flow rate. If I don't get a good flow rate, I'm not gonna get good drilling here, so that's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna try to grab all of this here. And this is going to be my waste tank for now. Eventually, I will move on to cleaning my slurry, but I'm not, not interested in doing that yet. And I think, which tank is it? It's the in, in, inside uh, connection. There we go. All right, and I like the dual tank look, so. All right, good. So that is my, those are my two tanks to spawner. All right, so we're just going to spawn on this one side. That's going to put slurry in there. All right, so that's my slurry tank. So now we're going to pump slurry in there. All right, I need to add something to my panel here to pump slurry. Uh, so let's see, what's this number? 11. There's 9. Okay.
You know what I could do? I could put that off the table so it pumps slurry whenever the table's. Let's do that for now. Instead of doing a separate button, I will do this. So when I turn, um, nope, I have, that's not going to work. Okay. I can just do it anyway. Where was it? Just changed it now. Pipes line. Let me see. All right, let me look at where what I'm at here. What I have for free here. Slider rotations there. Slider. Let's just go to. Um, I just figured it out too, and I screwed it up. Let's look in here. It's gonna be easier to find it. Um, right here. Right here. Um, this is gonna be slurry pumps. Slurry pumps. And that's gonna be nine. Nine. All right. And I'll grab slurry pumps and this will just do all my pumps here. All right, so we should be ready to drill. Just look at this really quick. Yeah, we should be ready to drill. So let's uh, try doing a little drilling. We'll test out this section of it. So I lost the pipe there, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and we'll go rotate left. We'll go arm out. We'll go clamp it. Arm in. Rotate. Um, arm back out. We'll do um, swivel down and clamp. Arm in, rotate. All right, so that is attached to the drill head. So now we want to do... Okay, I screwed that up already. Yay, of course I did. All right, uh, this should be a toggle. I screwed that up a little bit there. That's a toggle. All right. Hopefully I didn't screw anything else up. All right, but uh, proof of concept, you can see how this is working pretty well. So arm out and clamp, arm in, rotate, arm out, swivel clamp down, get rid of that. Oh, I need to go arm in first. Arm in. All right. And so that's there. Let's go ahead and turn on slurry pumps. And... I don't hear any drilling noise yet. So let's make sure we're pumping here. That would be the one thing screwing it up. Uh, I might have put the pumps up backwards. All right, we have no flow. Let me check all my all my uh, pumps. Let me check my tank here. Yep, so we're full of slurry. All right, so I think I might have hooked the pumps up wrong. Hopefully I don't break my leg. Yep, that needs to come off. All right, so we're not getting slurry, so we're not drilling. Let's check this here really quick. So it's probably something right here. Let me look. Flew it out. Okay, that was what it was. That's what I thought it was. Let's grab this, cut it, rotate it. There we go. And I will verify it like this. That should be fluid in. Okay, good. All right, good. So this will, should work now. All right. I'm going to try to jump over this here. So let's do rotate, clamp, arm out, arm in, rotate, rotate, arm out, swivel clamp. So much simpler um, crane now.
Alright, slurry pump on, table on. So I'm not getting anything. Um, that could be pumping too high. Let me check it. We're getting slurry. It's quite a distance to go up there to do it. I can move where this where these start here too. Okay, we're getting fluid, so we should be uh, drilling. I didn't table clamp, that's why. All right, so as you can see, we're going down. Okay, so next thing we want to do is, when this orange section of the pipe gets to here, we want to stop it. And so what I should do is limit the swivel so it can't go all the way down. All right, we stopped uh, drilling. So I wonder if that if we're losing flow. No, we're flowing. Let me check the wellhead really quick, see if we're actually drilling down. I don't think we are. We're not making the noise. Uh, we are. We're just going slow. I think we have a... I need to work on the flow rate of that slurry, but we are going down. As you can see... So we're at, we're at uh, essentially four pipe lengths right now. I think, I think so, I don't know. So it's, it's going slow. Um, I think it's because I'm pumping slurry too high. I need to essentially put this section here down lower. And this should be filling here. Don't see anything in here yet. Are we filling up? Uh, let me check that. Can't really see that unless I stand like right here. Fluid port. Okay, it's it's filling. It's just very slow. All right, you can see it is going down. It's just slow right now. So my flow rate's a little low. So let's actually fix that flow rate. All right, so we need to fix our flow rate. So the longer the run you do with pipes, the slower your flow rate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab all of this. All of this stuff here, including that. And we're going to cut it. And I'm going to go down to right where the pipes are. Right there. And we're going to merge these. And that should hopefully do it. And then all of this is fine. Make sure that's all merged correctly. It is. Okay, and then I want to just take this. And so to give myself more height, I can go up more from here. So this is going to be, hopefully give me more better flow rate here. This is how I had it set up last time. I am closer to there. Now let's test it, see how we're doing here. We go we're grinding now all right stop grinding huh that's interesting man i had this fixed on the other one there we go it's pushing let's see if we're uh, if we're actually dry grinding here so you can see it's um we're drilling It's slow going, so I th I'll have to check the slurry uh, rate. Slurry's not pumping all that fast. So slurry, I had this working fine last time. Let's see what's up. 
More inconsistent flow rates. I think the crane system is a lot more elegant. The crane system works better. Like, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of downtime in this, which I kind of like. So what we'll do is, like, for example, let's rotate the cassette. All right, and then we'll go ahead and do clamp, and we'll arm out. And then we can arm in. And then we can rotate the cassette again for the next one. And so we can have our, a ready set of pipes. So this makes it really easy. And then once this cassette is empty, you would take a separate crane and load it onto a truck, and then that can go. So we are drilling. It's just very slow. I'm not getting that um, that slurry noise. So I didn't hook any of that up, so I don't know what my actual rates are right now. This system worked last time. I have to figure out what's up. So it is pumping. Just not a very consistent flow rate is part of the issue. Yeah, so I'll have to see what's up. Yeah, I should have put a, uh, I'll put a dial in there to make sure I'm actually using slurry. But so you can see it is going down. It's just very slow. So I'll get that fixed. Uh, what's the RPS? I think RPS on this table is like five with this large electric motor. I uh, will tell us drill depth there. Yeah, RPS right there. It's five. But we are drilling down. It's just taking, it's just being a little slow. All right, so once that, so what I can do now is let's move this crane so it looks at me. And then I want to go, where is it? Slider up. Okay. There we go. See the slider going? See, I have it backwards, but. There we go. All right, so see, I want to put this slider so that it is right, um, right there. And then that way I can put this right over the other pipe and connect it once we get close. We're getting close right now, so let's move this arm. So this is why this arm moves in and out is, let's actually move it back just to here, okay. So I'm gonna, oh, uh, is my arm, my arm is out, that's why I need arm in. Okay, so arm in, and then what I can do is I can move this all the way in place, like so. And then when this gets to the level, I can stop the swivel and move it up. See, this is pushing out on its own. I don't know why. Oh, it's, you know what? There's some attractive force. So, see, it, I think it has an attractive force. I think the pipes naturally want to come together. So it is working. Um, I'm having some slurry issues, and so let's, let's actually look at the track. Does the track read out? So see, the fluid goes through the track head. That might not be the best system, having the fluid go through the track head. I kind of like it, but I'll see if hoses. Hoses weren't doing any better, so I'll have to play with that. But you see, we are we are getting fluid, so it is drilling. It's just slower than before, which I don't know why. My tanks are pretty much identical. Let's just let's just get this out of the way so it's not not bumping into it. Let's stick it right there. Yeah, so see that wants to move. Um, I'll figure out what's up with that. I'll change the system on that too. So we want to get this lined up. So really, I should make it so the swivel can't go too low. So once I see where the swivel is, I'm going to cut out some some of these tracks. actually go up just a hair on this. Okay, right there. Let's stop the swivel. Okay. Let's uh, shut the table off. Let's leave the table clamp. Let's shut the slurry pump off. Let's disconnect the swivel, send it all the way up. Let's go ahead. We'll move the arm in place. We'll extend the arm. Okay. Uh, swivel's still going up. That's why that did that. All right, now let's see. Are we getting alignment? Uh, I don't... Clamped. Okay. 
Let me see how we're looking here on alignment. So this needs to, let me, I need to fix something here. All right, man, and over. I need to go down just a hair with this. See that? That's up too high now. So right there, probably. Let's uh, rotate this. Go arm out. All right, those are connected now. Clamp. Arm in. All right, the pipes are joined. Swivels. Coming back down and aligning. All right. Uh, table on, slurry pump. All right, we're drilling again. I don't know why it wasn't making noise, it's making it now. One thing is, I had pre-drilled this hole, so I wonder if that was it. But we're getting good drilling noise now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when I get this in the workbench next, I need to save it. I didn't save it last time. All right, so now this can go arm in, and so a big part of this is gonna be setting these up early so that when we, um, when we need them, they're ready. So like that is all set up for the next one. So I didn't really look at this. I need to check how many of these I need to cut out. So we're making good progress drilling here. You know, like I'll add more indicators. So like, you know, the pipes aligned indicator light didn't come on. I don't think I hooked it up. But that's drilling. That's drilling pretty good. People were saying um, that they were hitting... They were hitting oil at all different levels. It's different depths. Um, people were hitting it at 80. I was already down like 40 last episode, but the game crashed. So I had issues. I'm going to actually do this really quick. I'm going to recall this on the workbench and save. All right. Test rig. All right. All right, and so let's let's check some things here. So it's, it seems to be drilling fine now. Let's um, let's do a little bit of cleanup here and get this going. We'll keep going for a little bit here. I want to kind of move up, move forward a little bit of where we were last episode. Make this a little bit of a longer episode here. Okay, and so let me make sure that If the pipes are slider velocity, where's pipe alignment? Connect, disconnect. Where is pipe alignment? Connectors aligned right here. I didn't put in a connectors aligned. That needs to be connected. Okay, good. All right, let's let's hook in all this these values too. So I have slurry flow rate. I don't think I have something that will read slurry flow rate to me. I can put a dial on there or something. Let's grab a meter. Stick a meter in both of these. Like so. That's good. Okay. And then where's my... So this is going to be six. My middle mouse button is refusing to operate here. There we go. So, swivel clamp will be, where is it? Swivel clamp will now be uh, slurry, slurry tank. And that will be, oh, I already forgot the number. Six. All right, and then... What are you? You are five. All right, so it'll be five, six, and eight. We'll start at five, we'll do three, five, six, and eight. So that's six. All right, that's good for now. Make sure we connect it. Slurry tank right there. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, good. So that's pretty good. Alright, so let's go um, swivel up. Clamp. Left. Arm out. Arm in. Back over to the right. Arm out. Swivel down and clamp. So we should already be about four meters below the surface. I'm just going to do a quick save here. So that will save how deep I am in this uh, well here. All right. All right, so you see how low that goes? I don't want it that low. So this is, let's figure this out now while we're here. All right, so I want to make this so that it goes to probably I'd say is that's as low as I want it to go. So probably right about, so right, right about in line with the black there. Okay. I need to fix that. So the swivel goes lower than it should here. So I'd say I need to cut out right from here. So let's go from right here down. Okay. And then so that just limits how far down the swivel can go. All right, so let's do some drilling. I just want to get to the point where we're kind of making progress uh, where we were last episode. So put that up. We can lock the swivels fine. Let's go over here. Clamp. Arm out. Arm in. Back. Swivel down. Arm out. So getting quick at this, you know, you could automate all these systems. I'm not a huge fan of automating too much. I kind of like having to do a bunch of it myself. Arm in, rotate. All right, so that is where it needs to be. Okay, so table, cl uh, table clamp, swivel clamp, send the swivel back up. And then I want to uh, rotate my cassette. I want to go clamp, arm out. Uh, ro oh, didn't want to rotate that. Rotate the cassette a little bit more. Arm in. I want to go, this is backwards, but I'll fix it later. And so I want to go to about the top of the roller stack, right? That's probably good. Let's keep, uh, keep rotating it. Arm out. All right, so we're lined. Clamp. All right, we want to uh, connect. We want to clamp. I want to go arm in. There we go. So getting good at this, getting uh, set up quickly. Now, as you see, that's already going to swivel down. We can start to rotate the cassette again and have the next one ready. All right, so as you can see, we can easily get this moving pretty quickly where we are all set up. All right, so we want to do table on, slurry pumps, and we're drilling. Nice. So I get a good method going here where we can quickly get this set up. You know, it takes some time to get this drilling. I don't know why we're stopping drilling right now, though. Huh. Why are we stopping drilling now? Let's look at the wellhead. I don't know what, what's up with the slurry. It shows the slurry's flowing, but it will stop drilling for some reason here. It is it is drilling. It's just slow, so I think the slurry is a big is a big factor of what's causing issues. So right there, we have slurry is fifty thousand units. We are losing slurry. It's using it. It's just I don't think it's pumping it that fast. I think we really need to pump a lot of slurry in there if we have if we have uh, this much. You know, if we're drilling this fast, we're drilling at max speed here. Essentially, I don't know. Let's quickly um, stop the table. See if we can get that full of slurry now. 
Yeah, I don't know what's it, what it's doing. That's interesting. So uh, we're definitely we're definitely feeding slurry in here. You know, you can see if we check the this here, we can see the fluids going down. We're definitely using slurry. It's going in the slurry head, in the swivel. Uh, you can see it's coming in here. We're pushing the slurry, the saturated slurry through. Uh, so some of this, the slurry went through. You see, we have some slurry in here. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this really quick. Make sure all this is running properly. So that has a, a more consistent flow rate than that. I don't know. Interesting. It's interesting nonetheless why it's doing this. I don't know if I stack up pipes if it would go faster or what. Uh, but we can try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Um, I think slurry, is, slurry rates are going to be king. Faster we can get slurry in there, the better. Generally, these singles are just as good as putting on large pumps. Let's see if I can't accelerate this by doing this. We shall try. Worth a try at least. Because when, when they reduce the flow rates of the large pumps anyways, and they're all the same essentially, or they're close to being the same, it's... Um... Rotate the cassette. I like having a bunch of jobs to do while I'm waiting on stuff. Like I have to actually get that cassette rotated. If it was overly automated, I would I'd be bored. Like this, this keeps me ent entertained. Okay. Uh, table clamp is on. Just wait for that to clear. Okay, that's clear. Arm goes out. And then... There we go. Connected, clamped, arm in. Rotate, down, clamp. There we go. Let's grab the next one. Cassette rotates. Now we're drilling. So let's listen to this drilling. Hopefully it's, it stopped again. Let's go check the slurry. So something's up with slurry. It's just not working well like this. I, I did test last time. I put on hoses. That one's doing nothing. That one's doing nothing. Why? Oh, this one's backwards. That will do it every time. That, that's one little pump screwed it all up. Okay. Let me fix it. That one pump screws it all up. All right, let's fix that. So the setup time is actually not too bad. That was one thing I wanted to streamline was the way the crane worked and everything was important to me was get the crane going where it's I can move this quicker. Because now it's, it's, you know, the faster I can get my workflow, the better.
I don't know why when you move it a little bit, it lets it go up, but that's weird. Uh, table clamp. I'm just trying to see where this is sticking here. That needs to go down. Okay. There we go. Stop drilling. It stopped the drill noise. I don't know why. I have to go check that slurry again. See what's up with it, man. Alright, we have two pumps going in, two pumps going out. Yeah, it's just inconsistent flow rates is, is part of my issue here. I don't know. I'll have to keep playing with this. But, um, yeah, I think we'll call it there. I'll, I'll play with this off screen a little bit, see if I can get the slurry going. And when I come in uh, for the next episode for you guys, you can see uh, what I've come up with. All right. See you then. Bye.